We are the authority. I am the authority. The authority is the seat of vampire political power. It's the governing body of vampires. And it's the great religious, spiritual organizing body. And its decision-making affects the rest of vampire society. Let the night cleanse us of our sins and lead us to victory. The leader of the authority is referred to as the guardian and leads this uh, council of seven, who are known as the chancellors, in forming policy for vampires around the world. Kind of like the Vampire Supreme Court, I guess, with Roman as the head of it. Now, as guardian, I am tasked with not only our political future, but the spiritual salvation of vampires everywhere. His mission statement in life is to focus vampires towards their better natures, which in the end means we need to find a way to coexist with humans. He is the mastermind behind the development of true blood and behind mainstreaming. Every vampire on this council has committed our careers to mainstreaming. Any threat to mainstreaming is a threat to us. Roman is the guardian, which means he's the guardian of the blood, the blood of Lilith. Lilith, she's our martyr. Lilith is the mother of all vampires. God gives her the gift of himself and turns her into the first Earth-born vampire. Mr. Comte, do you know what this is? It's the original testament, the vampire Bible. Do you believe it? Believe what? In the literal interpretation of our sacred text, that humans are nothing more than our food. I do not. There are two specific movements within the vampire world. There are the mainstreamers. The mainstreaming agenda is just too damn important. It cannot fail. Rosalind Harris believes that all the members of the authority believe as the Guardian does and are pro-mainstreaming. And then there are the Sanguinistas. They believe in the literal interpretation of the Vampire Bible. There are fundamentalists who do believe humans are found as food, nothing more, emotional alliances between vampire and human are blasphemy. And this is ultimately the difference between these two camps. One who's able to look at the book as a metaphor on how to live your life, another one is looking at it as a mm, guidebook. Some vampires believe the blood in this urn is the actual blood of Lilith. Roman, he respects the story of Lilith, but I don't think he buys into it in the same way. He understands that, that the faithful need the, the, these things, these touchstones to aspire to, to hold on to. Is Lilith real? Or is Lilith a, uh, a mythology? Kibwe's take is, are these people equal to us? I think there's some real power issues being discussed as well. Roman just take a drop of his blood and gives to every chancellor a little drop of blood. That's when the authority starts to have a sort of a conflict. And there I am doing my little song and dance with the dropper. Symbolic ritual, nothing more. You see this group and they seem very united one with the other. It is only later that we discover there's snakes in the grass. There are traitors in our midst. And you think you know somebody, and when they betray you, they won't even tell you why. If one chancellor can be swayed from the path, then why not two? It's very interesting. It's like in our politics. It's like in any organization. So it was really fun to go into it this year and sort of come up with a way to look at politics and look at political structures. Can we look beyond ourselves and the bloodlust that has historically defined us to something bigger than all of us? and live as equals. The future of vampires and the future of the world is seemingly hangs in the balance. Which side is right? Is Roman's side right? Or is he also a little too dogmatic in his viewpoint? This administration is dedicated now more than ever to the path of mainstreaming. This is sort of the arc of the season. You know, the sanguinistas versus the mainstreamers. We'll see who's standing at the end of the season because there is there's some blood coming up. We will not stand by while zealots hijack the righteousness of our cause. We will fight.